Okay, we're definitely moving on. We're now on to medians, how to get that from a graph. Okay. Remember, median is the middle number. Median, medium, middle. It's easily done. So what we normally do is we put it in order and we just count in and find the middle number. And for this one, it's quite straightforward because we just cross up there, cross up there, and we just, it's a slow process, but it works out really nice. And oh look, that's the middle number, quite straightforward. Now, this is quite nice, but what happens when we have, I mean, um, information like this? Now, I just want you to do, do you do the mean, median or mode? So for the drama club, what would you use? Mean, median or mode? Choir and orchestra. Have a think. Okay, for the drama club, in truth it doesn't matter which one you use because it's all 20, so the answer would be 20 for each of them, so that's quite cool. For the choir, um, I would probably, there's no point in using mode because none of the numbers are repeated, but if you add up all the numbers and find the mean, um, your answer would be 20, and if you use the median, the answer is 20, so two of them would work out well. And in the orchestra, Oh, you can see that there's bigger numbers over here, probably because it was raining that day, if it was lunchtime activities, than here. So, if you did the mode, the answer would be 18. Is that an accurate figure? I don't think so. If you did the median, the answer would be 20. And again, that probably wouldn't be accurate because there's quite big numbers here. So, for that one, I'd probably do the mean. And when you are doing data and finding averages, it might mean talking through all three. So that means we looked at these, these figures and we worked out how to do the, medi the mean. So what would the, the median do? Right, when we cross it all off, the two middle numbers is 2.8 and 3.32. Do you remember how to work out the mean? the median from those and basically right you add the two together and divide by two and so the answer is 3.06 so if there are nine numbers in a list have a think will there be one or two middle numbers hopefully you've decided that there'll be one because you need when there's an odd number that that means there's one number in the middle and it means that there's two even sets of numbers on the side so to show you what i mean that one's in the middle so there's four on this side and four on this side so an odd number will always give the nice median in the middle where an even number so 10 would that give you one or two middle numbers and hopefully you've decided it would give you two middle numbers because that's the only way to give you two even sets on either either side. So for even numbers, there's going to be two median numbers. For odd numbers, there's going to be one median number. That's really hard to say. Let's not do that fast. So when there's a graph, it's really hard to write all the numbers out because it will take a very long time. So a good way to remember them is to do the numbers that there are, you add one and you divide by two. So, if there are 100 numbers in a list, what is the median? Now we know before that an even number set would mean, mean that there was two numbers in the middle. So if we just go back, do you see how there are two numbers in the middle when there was an even number? So if we say 100, we know that's 100 plus 1 divided by 2, so the middle number would be 50.5, or 50th number plus the 51st number over 2, which of course is 50.5. Now, when there's 37 numbers in a list, what would the median be? Remember what we said before, when there's an odd number, there would only be one number in the middle, so that would be 37 plus 1 divided by 2, so it would be the 19th number. 
this will make sense when we do it in a chart so just to get you comfortable with working out media numbers I'd like you to do the following questions so pause now and come back to me okay hopefully they're the answers you gave if not go and look back and come back now H is a very long worded question and this is because this is what's coming onto the GCSE papers because they want to um, get you used to dealing with more prob problems that you would be used to dealing with in the normal world so Kevin runs hour long kayaking lessons really none of that makes sense it's just he wants to find out from here the median time and there's the numbers so have a quick read through the question make sure you haven't missed the information and what I would do especially on an exam paper is underline what is relevant to me and then it makes it easier to work out the answer so that's median red amber or green